So this is Lichi Lam and this is the organizer, uh, Miss Lau. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she's gonna show us around and tell me more. Let's start from here. Okay. So what's the what's this? Uh, so so Lichi Lam is a maker space. Uh -huh. We have uh, kids and adults working on their own project. And this area you you can see is the most messy area. It's mainly for adult maker like Yannick. So we have project. Uh, this is Yannick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yannick, can you introduce your project? No, I think there are <laughs> so many projects. But, uh, this she project, was one of them. Oh, this one. This project is uh, for university in the UK, and it's used to monitor the temperature and humidity and the energy use in the home and it's intended to help people to reduce how much energy they use. So you, you made all of this in Michelin? No, no, no. These, these were made in a factory. These are the ones that have some problem and are being tested just now. Oh, so, I see. Uh, so did the kids help a little bit? Well, uh, some older kids helped. Older oh, kids? Like <laughs> students. Yes. yes. And, and in, from on here, what do we have? Oh, so oh soldering iron. Here's, uh, here is a workbench, and we have soldering station, uh -huh. and uh, printer, and... Little battery I use for, looks like for my drones. Yes, yeah, small, little battery, uh -huh. and uh, this, uh, this uh, machine for the, the, the surface mount circuit board uh -huh. and you can heat the circuit board here and melt the solder and then the components will be connected to the board and printer and replay the printer by like this Ah. Oh. Scan your hand Scan his hand and create another Nokia oh. You can see two hands on the board Oh yeah Nokia stuff What's Nokia? Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, and yeah, and yeah. This is the station of them working on their project. Oh, this did did, they, did you do this like in the lab? I I did this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you use this? Yeah, I used the uh, aluminum, but I pre-ordered it online. Like I just told them what size I want. They yeah, cut yeah, it for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I just folded them at home. We can cut it here. You can cut it here. Yeah, we have the machine that can cut it, cut it here. Or so, me, it's kind of hard. Look at my arms. <laughs> yeah, the machine can cut it, so it's okay. So Yannick use it to make the ah. show. And this is this is an interesting project. Here are three versions of it. But this is the first one to test if this can work. And then the second version and the final version, which is the audio effect is quite good. You can try. We will form also to play music. Like oh, just music. But connected to uh, Bluetooth? Yeah, yeah. Bluetooth. Okay, so I don't know if I have good uh, playlists. <laughs> people don't like my music. What do I do? <laughs> yeah, they will like it. And we develop this because we want to like develop a workshop for parents and kids to work out together and using the material that around them from students that you can find it in a corner of a street or something hardware store and mix it. Here is a small milling machine. Ah, a huge milling machine is the small one. Can you introduce it? Sure, this is actually. Uh, we had a conversation about this recently, and this I consider. Well, open hardware, a form of open hardware, a Chinese form of open hardware. So, we're talking about it, there's a lot of like things that call themselves open hardware, call themselves maker companies in China at the moment, and one could have a debate about whether they really are, because they use a lot of proprietary parts, and you can't make your own version of it. This little engraving machine I bought on Taobao uh, a few months ago. Uh, it costs about 700 RMB, so what's that, $130 or so. And it's actually a really practical machine. So I milled some PCBs with it, and it managed to get some really fine detail on the PCB. So it's, it's a very accurate machine, it's very practical, and there's many different versions of this machine that can be found in China. So it's basically someone came up with an original design, then somebody else changed it, somebody else changed it, someone selling it on Taobao, 
So it is a real kind of. Oh, look at this. To cut something and make someone cheap. Wow, look at here. All of these, the, the kids. Oh. Yeah. To learn about the material and how to do it from material. I saw this stuff and I was like, wow, oh, man. It's a great country. Yeah. 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 If kids have an idea, they're like, we won't do this, oh, you can use the laser cutter, just like cut whatever you want, and then put it together, and then use our new or anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 so they are, uh, that's another, another kind of courses also, so they work on their own project mm -hmm. as a group, and they use those ideas, that project to enter some competition or something. That's another part from the workshop, from the course, but we are doing that also. So this is the... <laughs> So we argue, is this an open source product, mm -hmm. open source hardware product? I said, okay, they have patent on this part, okay, okay, they are not. <laughs> but people say this is uh, and also like this kind of other uh, machine which has similar function is 700 MB roughly. Oh. So. This is a co copy from uh, from an American design. Another open source project. Yeah, from open hardware project. Yeah. So this is maybe more in the spirit of open hardware because they take another open hardware design, they make some modifications, release a new thing. So Boy, more people are getting. Oh, but one last thing, I just want to see the bigger laser cutter. Oh, there! Yeah. Show me, man. I'm saving. I'm saving. Oh, that we, we made this one. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, Wow, there's. I didn't know there's an. Oh, I wish this. Oh, there, there's this is what I'm dreaming yeah, yeah. So, this is the laser cover, and this uh painting station. Oops. Take color. And this is the, the big uh, CNC machine. CNC machine, yeah. The big one that you use water to go it down. This is, in some sense, is another example of the kind of open hardware in China. Because there are a lot of different factories that sell machines based on this kind of basic design. And they use a lot of common components like the motor controllers. The, Screenwalls, the servos. So there's a, a kind of a knowledge base in China that is exchanged between many different factories. So I think it's a kind of example of open hardware in China that people maybe sometimes Look, I ignore. I saw this and uh, CNC machine and the laser cutter at, at uh, the innovation uh, fair a couple of days ago mm. uh, for the Fat Lab. I'm like, oh, if I. The, the standard equipment uh, from the, the list that uh, produced by the Fat Foundation, and that's quite expensive because people uh, from the Fat Foundation they, 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 they buy all equipment in USA. Oh, they, all of them came not from China? They, they don't know that much about China, so they can only buy the things that they can find and make that a list and soil follow that list. That's why that set is quite expensive. Like, if you want to buy the standard set, mm -hmm. it can be up to like. Yeah. So maybe like uh like uh like a uh, thousand thousand like couple thousand white online I'm looking for and then I ask around who wants me to do a review for their like sort of I'm like if I do it for you will it <laughs> because I'm saving I'm already buying a lot of components doing my little projects I'm you know I'm not the kind of like uh I'm the girl, kind of girl that bread about my uh, uh, projects not the girl that bread about my handbags so I have to save it up with. No, but this one, I, I won't buy the, this is too large for my apartment, probably a smaller one. Just for me. come to the mega space and use it, and you don't need to like, win a room or something. Sorry. Yeah, sure. it's actually... So, that's, the, that's why mega space has uh, 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 how to say, a position in Chinese community. Yeah. You can share the space, you can share the tools, because the, the price for the housing is, is so high that you cannot afford it. Uh, um, and also it's much more practical because to have a laser cutter yourself you have to maintain it and you have to 
set up all the software and all these things. So it may be more hassle than just to come somewhere that has it. So I was just uh, going to say, this is something I did on this uh, milling machine here, I made some aluminium molds. And even though this is a comparatively cheap machine, it's perfectly capable of uh, handling this kind of project. 4.5 is the focal point. Yeah. So if you're cutting wood... Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, I know.